Hello everyone. So while we're waiting on new content for PAX Day to come out, <clears throat> I figure we'll move on and try some new things. And one of those things is this new game, The Quinfall. I will be playtesting The Quinfall. And you can see right there in the video on the bottom right that it is similar to PAX Day and uh, Elder Scrolls Online. I'm kind of really excited for this. Um, I was just checking it out and I'll be playtesting it. And I just wanted to share it with you, see what you guys think. So I'm going to read the little description here for you. Embark on an adventurous journey to explore the Quinfall universe. Be a part of unique battles and an immersive story with dozens of different professions in the depths of medieval times in an all-new MMORPG experience. They got a couple of videos. I'm going to go over, I'm going to show their screenshots first. Let's look at their, let's look at their screenshots. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Just looking at the world, it looks clean. It looks nice. The graphics look pretty good from, from what we can tell so far. Whoa, on the right there, those look like character slots. Do they really let you have that many characters? I guess we'll find out. Looks like they got a pretty in-depth character creator. Looks like there's a lot to it. You can check to have armor on or the pose. Take screenshots of your character. Okay. Looks pretty good. I gotta say, these images look crisp. They look clean, they look nice. Um, the user interface looks very minimal. Looks like old school World of Warcraft interface. Which I'm sure was absolutely on purpose. <laughs> Their menu looks nice. Okay. That's a cool looking tavern. The wilderness looks good. I don't know. I don't know about you. This looks pretty good. I I think it's going to be a good one. All right, let's get to the video. Let's let's check out their videos. Let's start with this one. Welcome to the realm of Quinfall. Adventurer on a trail to the past. Lands of Quinfall feature a variety of landforms, mountains, lakes, and rivers that are shaped according to their respective biomes and climates. The local flora also corresponds to the biome. Looks incredible. Beautiful. Cities are strategically spread across cliffs, shores, mountains, and even underground in a vast 2016 square kilometer land. That's crazy. In this world, seasons and weather conditions like rain and snow interact with your character as well as objects. Plants and some animals may decline in number in certain climates. I'm excited for that. Some areas may be subjected to floods, and some may surface as a result of drafts. All of these are some of the elements 
that make up Quinfall's alive and dynamic world. That sounds amazing. All right. What do you guys think about that i think that looks really cool to me it looks like a combination of final fantasy 14 and elder scrolls online with like a splash of pax day in there because like the environment really minds it you know the the aesthetics of the environment really reminds me of pax day however the graphics and the combat system really reminds me of final fantasy 14 just beautiful and then you I don't know if, if you've played Elder Scrolls Online, then you probably know what I'm talking about with like comparing it to Elder Scrolls because the way the characters moved, the way they you know swung their weapons, it really felt like Elder Scrolls to me. Um, so what do you guys think about that? I'm going to be making more videos on this, but I wanted to share what they have so far to see if, what you guys think if you want to leave some comments if you guys think it looks like a good game if it looks exciting at all if you think you want to play it um, i'm going to be play testing it so keep your eyes out for my next video so if you would like this video i would really appreciate it subscribe please please i really appreciate that um and i absolutely love reading all your comments so please leave comments and that's it for this video keep your eyes open for the next one